Supersonic passenger flights will soon be a reality. A new airliner that boasts supersonic speeds is set to revolutionize air travel once it takes flight in 2023. Boom Technologies planned supersonic aircraft will have a cruise speed of 1,451 miles per hour, 2.6 times faster than any other airliner. While a flight from New York to London would typically take seven hours on a commercial flight, the trip would take a little over three hours on a supersonic airliner. The Mach 2.2 aircraft will have 55 seats, each priced at about $5,000 for a round-trip ticket. A one-third scale prototype called the XB-1 will begin test flights in 2018 to demonstrate and refine the key technologies required for supersonic travel. Unlike the now-retired Concorde and its notoriously loud sonic boom, the Boom aircraft will have turbofans for noise reduction and won't be much louder than a normal plane. The company does have some hurdles to face before their project comes to fruition. Supersonic flights are still banned in the U.S., but with federal laws currently set up for renegotiation, that could soon change. Keep watching to see more super-fast modes of transportation. Canadian engineer designs Mach 24 aircraft antipode. Charles Bombardier has done it again. The engineer just released concept designs for yet another supersonic aircraft, antipode. The plane has been conceptualized to carry as many as 10 passengers up to 12,430 miles in under an hour, reaching speeds as high as 16,000 miles per hour. If you can imagine, the world's fastest car clocked in at about 270 miles per hour. At 16,000, or Mach 24, which is a little over 18,000, Antipo is estimated to be capable of traveling from London to New York in just 11 minutes, a flight that currently takes eight hours. Antipo comes on the heels of Bombardier's November 2015 aircraft concept, the Screamer, which promised to travel at Mach 10 speeds, but was rife with design flaws. Following Screamer's announcement, Bombardier was confronted with sonic boom and heating issues that would render the concept non-functional. Antipode is Bombardier's response to Screamer's flaws. But if you're looking to catch a ride anytime soon, don't hold your breath. The aircraft is years away from fruition as most of the technology required to make it functional has yet to be developed. But now that the DeLorean might be back in production, you might not even need a Mach 24 aircraft. First Hyperloop One system coming to the United Arab Emirates. Hyperloop One has signed an agreement with Dubai's Roads and Transport Authority to build the world's first Hyperloop system. Hyperloop One's system will connect Abu Dhabi and Dubai. Its stations, called Hyperportals, will be located in the city centers. Passengers will travel in pods, which come in four different configurations, cargo, coach, meeting, and lounge. The pods will pick up passengers at gates and travel autonomously to an underground level. There, they will be loaded inside a transporter capsule. Each transporter capsule will carry four pods. The capsules will be propelled by compressed air using magnetic levitation which eliminates friction inside a tube kept at a near vacuum to eliminate air resistance. They can travel at a speed of up to 1,200 kilometers per hour. The Hyperloop will reduce what's now a two-hour car trip between Abu Dhabi and Dubai to just 12 minutes. Hyperloop One said passengers inside the pods will not feel any discomfort, despite the extreme speeds. The capsules will stop at the Hyper Portal upon arrival, while the autonomous pods can either stop at the gates or continue beyond the Hyper Portal to take passengers to their destinations in the city. Hyperloop One said in a press release that the infrastructure does not have to work with the pods alone. It could also work with other self-driving vehicles. Eat your heart out, Dominic Toretto. A hit team of UK engineers, scientists, gearheads, and car nuts want to make this bad boy travel at over 1,000 miles per hour. The Bloodhound supersonic car performed its very first public run last week, clocking in a speed of 210 miles per hour. When complete, the car will be fitted with two engines, one of which is a jet engine that is the same as the one found on the Eurofighter aircraft. 
Does Ken clock in speeds of 650 miles per hour? The second of which will be a rocket engine. This is expected to help it travel at over 1,000 miles per hour. The car is also comprised of over 3,500 parts, many of which are tailor-made. They're aiming to break the world land speed record of 763 miles per hour in two to three years. Boeing says commercial hypersonic jets could be a reality. The CEO of Boeing said at the Paris Air Show that commercial hypersonic jets will become a reality in the next decade or two, which will drastically cut down on current air travel times. Hypersonic generally refers to speeds of Mach 5 and above, which is faster than supersonic and more than five times faster than transonic speeds. A hypersonic jet can travel from New York to Shanghai in just two hours, whereas a conventional commercial flight usually takes around 15 hours. However, objects traveling at hypersonic speed have to withstand surface temperatures of up to 1,000 degrees Celsius, enough to melt aluminum and titanium. The two elements are common materials used in current aircraft construction. Sonic booms created by flights traveling at hypersonic speeds would also generate a noise on the ground that can permanently damage human ears. Despite the failure of the Concorde and skepticism over ultra-fast airliners, some companies have made continuous efforts to try to turn supersonic travel into a reality. Boom Technology is developing a 55-seat supersonic jet that it hopes will be in service by next decade. Lockheed Martin is also developing the quiet supersonic technology X-Plane that it hopes will eliminate the problem of sonic booms.